No more newbie here, in this video I'm going to show you how to import images from the internet to use on your Share Factory videos. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make gaming videos using the free and easy Share Factory app on the PS4 then this is the channel for you so please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. Okay so in order to do this we do need to have a couple of things and they are a PC or a laptop, a memory stick or USB stick, a PS4 obviously with your Share Factory installed and then we are going to obviously need access to the internet. So first thing to do is to get onto your PC or laptop, plug in your USB stick and we want to create uh, a folder called Share Factory. Once we've got Share Factory we want to click on the Share Factory folder and we want to insert another folder called Images. Okay, And that is where your um, image needs to be installed in order for us to get it from the uh, internet onto the uh, Share Factory app. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is obviously start looking for the images that we want to put onto our Share Factory videos. And in order to do that, we need to know what Share Factory will accept because it's quite specific on what uh, size and uh, file type it will accept. So it will support image formats including JPEG and PNG. I'm not sure how you, whether you just say that as PNG. Uh, supported resolutions also um, include from 64 to uh, times 64 to 1280 by 720 and PNG images support transparency so obviously if you want the no background on it so supports 8 to 32 bit color okay so that's what share factory is looking for if you don't give it what it wants then it will not allow you to import it onto share factory Okay, so now we know what Share Factory wants us to provide, then we know what we're going to look for on the internet. So if we hop onto the PC or laptop and plug in the USB stick, and then we can um, start looking for the images that we want. Now, I found this pngimg.com website because I'm looking for a PNG image because I want a transparent background on a YouTube uh, symbol. So I found this and it says in this uh, clip art you can download free PNG images YouTube PNG images free download so to my mind that's saying that we can use it and that's pretty important to me because I want to make sure I'm using um, images that I am allowed to use so we want to download it now there's often a download button but on this one I'm going to right click on the actual image itself and I'm going to go to save image as and click on that and then it gives us a box which says um, where do you want this to save and we want to save it in the share factory folder and within the share factory folder we want it to be in the images folder on our user USB stick so we click confirm and then when we look on our computer and find that folder you will see that it's sat right there PNG file and it's in the share factory and images folder so that's exactly where it needs to sit you may need to drag it across um, but that is the end uh, place that you want it to sit you can then take your USB stick out of the PC and put it into Share Factory and then you just go down to import content and import images and go down to import from USB and then that will just give us the options of all the different things that we can import and there you go there's the image sat right there so you can go down uh, so you click across on that push the square button to import the selected clip and that is then done okay so then you can just go into your videos um, I'm just going to go into new project and just create any random uh, thing just so I can show you quickly what it does so I'm just going to click on here uh, don't need to save project or rename the project and then I'm just going to um, go uh, yeah this is just some kind of intro for on, on dreams so I'm just gonna go to add overlay okay so you don't do a screenshot I think it's an add an overlay and then you go to imported images and there you go there's our images sat there that we've imported so you can play about as you would have seen on other videos how to get it into the right position and how the right amount of length of time and all that sort of thing 
Okay, and before finishing it off, we're just going to do the shout out of the day, which this time goes to Cryptix Heathy. So, Cryptix Heathy uh, comments regularly on my videos, which I really appreciate. So, shout out goes to you. And if you want to check out the channel, and uh, do consider subscribing if you like their content. Okay, so finishing off, then we're just going to make sure that the sticker duration is correct for this, as we would with any other sticker. And then we'll just see what it looks like. And there you go, so easy as that. So if you found this useful, please do like, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do do so, and do turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. I've got so many more videos to come, and uh, lots already in the playlist as well, so do check out the other videos that we have. All right, thanks very much, and bye.